Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video by Coders Daily. In this video, we are going to solve another very popular question of hacker rank, which is known as nested list, right? So let's jump on to the problem statement. Over here, you can see that the problem statement says that we are given the names and grades of each student in a class of n students, right? So what the statement is saying is that we have n student inside our class. What we need to do is we need to store them in a nested list and print the names of student having second lowest grade. What we need to print is we need to print students who have got the second lowest grade. One more thing which is uh, needed to be thought of over here is that if there are multiple students with second lowest grade, order their names alphabetically and print each name on a new line, right? So let's just say there are two students. One is uh, Radul. And then the another one is Rohit, right? So let's just say both of them got 40 marks, 40 marks, right? Now, if they both are the second highest scorers, right? So what we need to do is we need to arrange them alphabetically, right? Which means that first Mridul should be printed and then Rohit should be printed. In another way, let's just say there are three students who have got second highest marks one more is Adit, right? So Adit would be printed first alphabetically, then Mradul and then Rohit, right? One more thing to take care of here is that we need to make a nested list. What is nested list? Nested list means there is a bigger list and then there are smaller list inside that bigger list. So basically it is a list of list, right? I think now the conditions are true. So let's move on to solving this particular problem. Right. So I'll remove this part over here. As you can see, they have already given us two things. One is a variable called name. Another one is a variable called score inside name. They are taking a input, which is a string input and inside score. They are taking an uh, input from score, which is a float value, right? Now what I need to do is, or what I want to do is every time this loops runs, I want to append all the names together inside a list called name list, right? And then I also want to create another list called score list. And I'll append all the scores inside this particular list, right? This will also help us to make this appended, appended list. Also, it will help us to find second highest score, right? So let's move forward with this. Now, every time, uh, and basically I'll also create one more list, I think, uh, with the name of nested list, right? Now inside nested list, what I'll do is I'll try to create this particular thing right over here, which you can see, uh, that we need to create records equals to, uh, all those values. So, uh, let me make it easier. I'll use records name only, right? So what I'm doing is I'm appending inside record every time these values, one is name comma score. Okay, so the first thing is done inside name list. I always want to append names and inside score list. I always want to append scores, right? So this is done now coming, uh, after for loop, what I need to do is I need to find out the second highest score in the complete score list, right? So I want to find second highest scores, right? So first of all, what I'll do is I'll remove all the kinds of repetitions, right? What do I mean by repetition? So let's just say, uh, when we create a score list, this is what we get. Let's just say we get a score called 20, 50 and 50. Now you can see that 50 and 50 are the toppers, right? Because they have got the highest mark. Second highest topper is 20. So I will write it as second. Now what I want to do is I want to first remove the repetition. What I want to do is I'll remove all the repetition. So I'll only have the unique marks, which each student has got. So it will be 20 and 50. Once I got this, whenever I'll, let's just say the, the list name was L1. And whenever I'll write L1 of minus two, 
what I'll get is I'll always get the second highest scorer because the second highest scorer will be always at the second place. Or basically one more thing which I can do is I can sort this list also before making or appending this particular thing. Right. So that is what I'll write in the code now. As you can see over here, uh, we have already appended everything. So score list equals to list of set of score list. I am doing this because set removes all the repetitions. Right now what I'll do is I'll just sort out the score list and then find second highest marks just by writing score list of minus two fine so till now what we have got is we have got the second highest scores also right now i want all the names who has this particular score right so for this i will be using list comprehension right because list comprehension is an easier way to do it you can use for loop also uh, time normally but i want to make it more optimized so that that is why i'm using list comprehension right so i'm just writing out equals to name for i n basically i'll write the first list uh the main list is records list so i'm running a loop on records and then if i of one is equals to equals to second high right that what we'll do is we'll store we'll store i of zero right now what is i of zero so basically this is a bigger list over here you can see over here you can see that each list has two elements or two index value one is the zero one is the one you can see always at the zeroth index and first index zeroth index is storing the names and first index is always storing the score or grade you can say grade right so what i am doing is inside this particular loop what i am doing is i am always comparing the first index basically the grade grade with the second highest to score right so always the second highest scorer you can see i equals to one will be equals to second highest score so whenever we will find a score which is equals to the second highest will store the name of that student inside our output over here we can store inside our output right so this is what i am trying to achieve using this list comprehension right if you'll see if i print out i think we'll get all the names but this is not this not will be the correct answer the correct answer will be given after this okay so so it is saying we have a error right so if i of one is equals to equals to second highest list index out of range no problem so let's do one more thing let's print the records right and then run it basically it is coming as list of list of list okay no problem okay by mistake i have written two two brackets so i'll remove one and now i think it will work right so i'll run this okay so we are getting the name harsh right but the real output should be berry and very and harry right so let's do one more thing we are making some mistake maybe like our second index is not coming up right so what i'll do is i'll print second highest also and one more thing i'll do is i'll print score list and then the second highest okay okay so this is the score list we are getting right and using this we should have got the second highest score as 39 right so what i'll do is i'll write print score list right or second highest i'll just print second highest
right we are getting 39.0 also right and 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 okay and they are giving us as harsh right uh i think it is second lowest okay no problem i was going for second highest but we need to find second lowest so what i'll do is i'll change this and write second low okay and instead of minus two i'll write one right okay because the first uh the lowest marks would be zero and the second lowest will be one so i'll write second low now in this way it will perfectly run right so you see we got the names now what we need to do is we need to again sort this particular list out dot sort and then for i in out print i right now when i'll run this code when i'll run this code we'll get berry and harry great just need to remove this print it is an extra print we just use for debugging it okay great now all the sample test cases runs also we'll submit this code so you can see all the test cases are running successfully yeah. thank you so much for watching this video and please do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this